<laughs> let me come home a bit and let's go to the world of volleyball before my producer is just telling me that sorry, we'll talk about Paralympics but let's quickly take all things as fast as possible let's tell you that um, the first phase of the Nigerian volleyball cost federation Costa Roger of Custom Volleyball Premier League um, finished yesterday night uh, in Abuja. But on Saturday, the number one man of the Nigerian Custom Service, uh, talking about uh, controller Adewali Bashiru Adeni, yes, uh, was there live. Uh, he said, Come, I must see one of the games despite my busy schedule. He was there, and um, let me tell you that um, we were also there talking about the sport. G team was there live, and we caught him on interview. Let's hear from him. Let's hear uh, how he spoke on uh, why uh, sporting fitness can be used to combat, as talking about men of the Nigerian custom system, uh, custom service, to combat uh, the other other duties they have in terms of office. Let's get to our uh, controller general of customs. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, every sporting activity uh, has some elements that it drives. You need discipline. Uh, you need to work in a team. You need strength. You need stability. You need uh, intelligence. Uh, these are all elements that we need even to uh, in our regular day-to-day -day activities as customs officers. So if they succeed. You know, in imbibing all of these virtues you know, while playing their various games, it becomes easier for them to make very good customs officers and very good customers. So this is why we encourage our talents, you know, those in our folds to make sure that they keep their best when they are competing in this kind of events. All right, yes, um, that's uh, the CGC of custom. But if, uh, before you react, uh, let's take the interviews um, sections. Then we'll now look at it in for in uh, what should be the gain. Uh, but yes, why is the league? Why did they come into league? Is it because custom is playing a uh, part of the t uh, teams participating in the league? Is why uh, they manage together? Oh, majorly CGC, tell us more at the other side. It is deliberate because there are so many. There's a lot of mileage that we can get from uh, sporting excellence and customs does have a very rich history of you know excellent performance in sports. Uh, we've uh, produced uh, you know, national and international champions before in boxing, in athletics. You know, of course, our volleyball team, they do very well. We've participated in the African Championships a number of times. Our basketball team, they're doing very, very well. We used to play in the National Football League. So we have a very rich history uh, of uh, very, very excellent performance in sports. And this is why we, we found it very, very necessary, not only to encourage our own athletes within the customs, but also to extend our support and sponsorship to federations that seek assistance from us. I used to participate in the uh, volleyball tournaments way back when I was in the And it used to be very thriving you know, competition then. It used to be uh, the avenue for us to pick the best of our athletes to represent us in national and international competitions. But I've also observed that in the last two, three years, there's been a lot in that hand. We felt um, when the Federation approached uh, us to give assistance, yeah, we are more than glad yeah, to us. All right, um, that's um, the controller of general of custom saying so with all the mileage they have as playing the game, uh, participating in sport, uh, they also want to use it to grow at uh, the sporting sy system and uh, for support, use it as a support uh, for them. I think co um, community social responsibility, the CSR is also a means uh, to support the game. But we'll get back to uh, in there where you also talk about yes, despite custom getting so many wins but respect must be given to all the 11 teams in the male and female category fighting the battle with the nigeria custom service volleyball team let's get back to the cgc at the wali bashiru at the other side it is cautious optimism uh, we won we won three, uh, three sets, uh, straight set. but you know that you know this championship is prosecuted in phases so this is just the first phase and we've just won one match you know in the phase that has about seven eight matches there are some other teams that have not got the match and then of course there is also the decisive second phase that is going uh, that is coming up the time here so we've not gone too badly today uh, all respect to the uh, team that we played on our spikers uh, did very very well as well but then i guess the better side we uh won today and uh, we look forward to our last match all right um divine please kindly uh, just react to it um this is one man 
for me, I respect so much uh, because he has put in so many things. Like he said, he has once played volleyball, he has played several sports. And for him to come out on a Saturday morning to see how other teams, the 24 teams, participating in this year league and uh, making sure that they play so much enjoy themselves i think um if they deserve more applause talking about the controller general of customs yeah that's true they deserve all the applause they can get because seeing as i would not say they are really aged but they still need to keep fit and volleyball is a very tasking sport you have to run around sp spike jump that will help, really help them with their fitness so that even in their daily work they will they will be able to do it well and sports we people see sports and they just see it like okay you are going to play mm. but no that's not all it is through this volleyball that they play they can do much more for the society and the community too yes they're uh, doing much more for the community and society and that makes me i look at the mileage for two weeks everybody was turning uh the Moshida biela national stadium in the sports hall to come and watch games we're almost there Mo in the night we'll be there in the evening to just get clips of actions and almost all the media houses are on this story picking up uh what the custom the control general of custom has done i think in one of the interview we had uh, a board member said in seven years or six years the last six years they've never had a sponsor for the league but the control general of custom uh, came in on board and partnered with them and the league even had more fees at this season i think it's a top of yeah I for think them. That's, that's really great seeing as everybody knows volleyball is not really pushed in nigeria and only from this competition there are a lot of um tv stations going to view it this just shows that there's traction there's there's opportunity in volleyball so if we can get more from <coughs> tv stations viewing volleyball seeing as captain is already doing it right now i think it's pushed to one of the top spots in nigeria Right, uh, when we speak it, when you invite us, we'll be there to cover your event and we'll partner together to grow sports in Nigeria.